guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Swap, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cool fighting game on Scratch. Now, at the beginning, when I first started thinking of making this game, I was looking on Google for pictures or videos of people fighting that I could use in my game, but I found nothing. So, after a few days of thinking what I could do, I figured out that I could just film myself doing the actions, which for me I did seven, but you can do how many ever you want for your game. And when I did that, I also uh, removed their backgrounds and uh, did a couple of things with them to make them perfect for the game. So there you go, I had the things ready for the game. So yeah, make sure you watch the video to see what bugs or any other stuff that could happen to your project and how to fix them. So let's get started. So first start with the videos. Now the videos, to make these videos good, you'll need a light background, like just a wall or something in your house. Um, and you also need your clothes to be dark uh, because otherwise you look like the wall and you don't wanna look like the wall, you want it to be a difference between your clothes and the wall that you're in front of. Okay, and there are three rules of making these videos. The first one is that you need you need them to be less than a um, second long, or about a second long, something like that. Um, another one is that for every action, you need to start in the same spot. So your arms have got to be in the same spot, your feet, your legs, your body, basically everything. Um, and the third one, you need to film yourself doing each action about five times so that you have options to pick from. Now, I made seven actions for my game. You can make as many as you want. You can make more than seven, less than seven, however many you want. Um, for my game, I made uh, these seven. So I got idle, which is what you do when you're uh, just moving, not doing any other action. Um, and then next we have walk, which you basically just walk. And then we have punch, which you punch, kick, where you kick, and then you have low block which is basically a block for a kick and then we have high block which is a block for the punch and our last and seventh one is fall which is basically when you get hit you fall on the ground so those are my seven so like for example um this is my idol this is the thing that i picked for idol wait sorry there you go this is my thing There you go. So that's what I picked for idle. So basically, now that I have these seven actions that I'm using, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a new folder that I'm going to call selected. Okay. Uh, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and copy these seven actions. So basically, you want to select them, uh, control C. And then go inside of your uh, folder they just made for, called selected and then control V to paste them in there. Now let's go ahead and remove all the backgrounds from these videos because in my game I do not want to see the wall behind me. So for this we're using this website uh, that's called unscreen.com to remove the background. So we're going to go ahead and click here upload clip and then what we want to do is, let's just pick this first one, and we're going to let it load. And as you can see, it's loading. And this is the fall one, the fall video that I made. And if you see it and it looks good, then you click download, and then you let it load. And basically, this is what we're going to be doing for each and every movement. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to uh, fast forward while I make all the other six things. Okay, so if you go ahead and open up your downloads, you should see those seven uh, actions I just put in there. Now, there are two types of problems that you could have. Let me show you the first one with our idle one. And basically, um, you can see how it moves. It's not like a continuous... Uh, movement like you can see here it stops um, we're gonna take care of that problem in scratch wait a bit later um, uh, next I'm gonna show you the next problem with our fall action 
So basically, you can see here that socket in the wall stays there. Um, along with like that shadow there on my foot and other stuff. So we're also going to change that in Scratch in a while. Um, what we're going to do next is um, we're going to take these, uh, copy them. I'm going to go to our selected thing. And uh, we don't need these ones anymore because they have the background. So go ahead and uh, delete those. And then go ahead and paste uh, these ones. Okay. And now you want to rename them. So to rename them, you can just click on it. You can either right click on it or just uh, click F2 once you have clicked on it. And then you can, I'm going to just call it fall for this one. Uh, this one's just going to be high block. This one's going to be idle. This one's going to be kick. This one's going to be low block. Punch. And... Last is going to be walk. And we needed to rename them because in Scratch, we needed them to be shorter names so that they'll be easier to use. Alright, so let's go ahead and open Scratch. And basically, what we're going to do is a create. So we're going to make a new project. All right, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to add one of our actions as a costume. So, um, all right, let it load. Okay, so this time we're actually going to use a cat, but we're just going to add a costume. So delete this costume and then click upload costume. And then basically you want to go ahead and let's put idle in. And now it's going to take a while to load, and that's because um, we made like a short video, and video is made up of frames. And Scratch is basically going to put every single frame as a different costume, so we're going to have a ton of costumes. Let me get rid of this cat now. Alright, and as you can see, we have like, how many costumes? 32 costumes, because they're each a frame, and together they make up that short video. Now, Scratch has a little bug, and as you can see here, the bug is that, for example, you can see that idle 2 is put in as the first costume, and then idle 4 is the second one, just then idle 1, it just idle, is put as the third, idle 3 is fourth, and so on. They're going to be kind of mixed up, so let's go ahead and make them in the right order. So go ahead and put idle, drag it above idle 2, drag idle 3 up here, idle 4, idle 5, they're all good, 6, 7, 8, Oh, and then there's 12, so we got to put in 9. Oh, wait, let's put 10. I don't, I can't see 9. I don't know where 9 is. Oh, there's 9. So we're going to drag it up there so that we can get closer. Okay, so there's 9, 8, 9, 10, and then switch 11 to 12, and move 13 with 14. Ooh, and then um, there's a 17, there's 16, but where's 15? Well, let's go ahead and put out the 16 for now. And we'll look for the 15. Alright, where's the 15? Okay, there's the 22, 23, 24, 25. And there's 15, okay. So let's go ahead and drag 15 all the way up to where it's supposed to be. Right there. So 15, 16, 17, oh, 18. We need to add 18. So there's 18. Okay, let's drag it up to where it's supposed to be. And 19, 20. Oh, 21's missing. Um, where's 21? All right, there's 27, 20, 29. There's 21. Okay. So let's go ahead and drag 21 up. Alright. Yeah, right there. Okay, so 22, 23, 24, 25, 20. 
the 26 is missing. It's all the way at the bottom. Let's go ahead and drag up uh, 30, 31, 32, and 26. We just need to put it a bit higher right there. And there you go. They're all in order now. Now let's do some short code to uh, see how this looks. So basically the code is going to be when green flag clicked forever. Um, let's switch costume to idle, just one idle. Um, so that it can always be the uh, main one, the first one. And then repeat. We want to change the, we have to go to the next costume. So we'll click next costume. Now this repeats, not 10. And since, like I said, there are 32 costumes, um, we don't count the first one, so it's just going to be 31. Okay. Uh, so there you go. Let's try to try this. Um, and just like it was before when he tried it, when he saw it, it's, it doesn't seem like one motion. You can see that it stops there a bit. So that's because this has too many costumes, has too many frames. The video has like too many frames. So let's try to just change this 31 to this thing. 25. See how that looks? Uh, it's a bit better, but let's try something like 20. Okay. Uh, it's almost perfect. I don't know, just it's got to be close. 19. And that looks good. Now, since we're only ch uh, switch costume. 19 times. Let's go ahead and delete all the other extra ones that we're not going to be using. Okay, so there you go. Now let's go ahead and add the falling one. The falling action. Okay. Right there. And again, it's taking a while because, like I said, frames for the video. So there's going to be a lot of them again. And once it's done, um, again, you have to reorder every single thing. So now let's go ahead and take the care of that problem that I was talking about earlier. And you can see the socket in the wall and like that shadow over there. So let's go ahead and get rid of it by selecting it or just using the eraser. Okay, just like that. You gotta do this for every single costume. Or at least the ones that have them in it. It's fine if it's a tiny bit, but like here the shadow, it's a, too much. Gotta get rid of it. Otherwise it looks uh, bad. Okay, so you gotta go ahead and just do this for every single costume. So now I'm going to go ahead and upload the other five actions off camera so that we have them ready for the next part where we will do all the coding. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you next time.